So conventional reaction or wisdom on the vice presidential debate is that uh, Senator J.D. Vance kind of came out on top as far as delivery. But Tim Walz did have uh, one little ace in his pocket or in his hand on his sleeve. On his wrist. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it was by accident. Of course it wasn't. He, yeah. Um, because Swifties did uh, did notice he had a little bracelet there. And they some people think it is an actual It's a total friendship Taylor Swift. Of course Swift it is. Official friendship bracelet. It's what's interesting is that I, I, he knew it would get caught on camera, but it wasn't yeah. like displayed. He mentioned Taylor Swift at the end saying she supported him, which makes sense that why you know, not? Yeah, they that's the whole point get, of getting those endorsements. This, you wanna... this election is about getting the vote out. And on the Trump side, you've got a lot of people in the sidelines who generally don't vote that he's pushing to vote. And then on the Democrat side, you've got a lot of young people who haven't voted or are apathetic, and they're trying to push them to the polls. And that's, that's what's that's, gonna determine the winner. That was the whole point of Taylor's endorsement because that was her big thing, is that you make sure you get out and vote, so. Well, yeah, I mean, it was in his closing statement that he talked about his coalition, and he said, listen, we're getting everyone from Bernie Sanders to Dick Cheney to Taylor Swift. So, of course, his aides are saying, hey, plug Taylor Swift in when you can, because that's gonna raise everybody's ears. At the same time, though, I feel like when you lay on Hollywood stars a little too thick, it could definitely push people away. So it's really a fine balance there. Like, maybe I would have done the risk, the, friendship bracelet, but no Taylor Swift mention or one or the other.